Do you want to get huge cells like this in your paintings? Let me show you how using funnel. So what you need is a pouring medium. If you have access to US float roll, that works pretty well uh, in this technique. But if you don't have it, don't worry about it at all. Um, you can use a retail pouring medium and we're going to add silicone to it to get the cells anyway. So you should be fine if you don't have float roll. I'm using a locally manufactured pouring medium called Artbox for this whole experiment. So I won't be using float roll either. The funnel pour gets its namesake, obviously, from the use of the funnel. So you'll need one of these. You'll also want some silicone oil. Uh, try to avoid anything that isn't pure silicone oil. None of that three in one stuff because it won't work the way you intended to. And we're working in volume. So you'll want some sort of measuring uh, system, not weight volume. So either measuring cups or spoons. The recipe here throughout with all the paints is going to be two parts of pouring medium as in two of these spoons and then one part of paint and we're going to add just a splash of water to that just to make it just a tiny bit thinner with regards to the silicone we'll be adding one drop into the red into the magenta and into the yellow whereas the white and black will be silicone free the first thing you need to know about using silicone is you never want it to touch the dry surface you're painting on so when you use silicone you will usually use a wet base first let me show you how to incorrectly do this so i'm going to put a large amount of the black down first and then when we stack the colors or when we put the colors in with the black the issue you're seeing here is that there's so much more of the black that even when i torch the silicone to the surface the black has very severely covered them up you see there there will be a number of cells but for the most part this is not the reaction we're hoping for so if this happens to you it's not really a big deal we can put the funnel back on top in the middle i'm just going to spread this out a little bit first but you can put the funnel back on top in the middle and do this again this time instead of putting a large amount of one of the colors that doesn't have silicone i'm going to start with the red and when you're putting colors into the funnel, don't stack them neatly like you would a flip cup. Part of what makes this work is that we let the colors sink into each other. So when you pour them in, let them sink into each other. And now as, we, as we're done putting the colors down, you can lift the funnel in like little ripples, or you can lift it up in one go, or you can move it side to side to create like a bit of a swirl pattern. But more or less you're going to get the same effect as it comes out of the funnel sort of like a flip cup but it's coming out of a smaller exit than a cup now i'm using a lighter because my torch ran out of gas um and as soon as you hit it with the heat you see the cells will jump right to the surface and ideally what you want is to have your cells in the middle because you're going to lose a lot of what's in the sides and at the corners and the, the cells in the middles are the ones that are really going to grow as you tilt the excess. Now remember, don't tilt very steeply, don't move the paint very quickly, slow and steady and be patient. You don't want it to warp very heavily. We want them to somewhat retain their shape and composition by the time we're done tilting. When you're tilting, try to come back to the center, bring the, the composition back to the center before you go to another corner otherwise it's going to shift off center and your pattern will wind up being in a corner as opposed to in the center see so we've hit two corners now i'll pick it up again and tilt the other corners also bring it back to center before switching to the other corner so if you're looking for more tutorials like this, or if you're looking for a comprehensive understanding of acrylic pouring where you can learn it all from start to finish from one source, I have an online course that does just that. It will teach you everything from materials all the way to your finished painting with everything in between. And it will give you a very solid understanding of how fluid art works, why we do the things we do, and why we avoid the things that we avoid. If you want to check that out, you can find it on my website at gpours.com. You'll also find it in the description of the video below. And that's how you pull off a funnel pour and get really large cells in the process. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
um, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. This was G. And see you in the next video.